It's a sunny Saturday morning in Wallops Island, Virginia at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, and you're looking at all of the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport Pad 0A. What you see right now is the Antares rocket with the Cygnus spacecraft ready for launch in just under 30 minutes on Northrop Grumman's 12th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. Cygnus will be delivering over four tons of cargo to the International Space Station, and after its launch today, it'll make a two-day journey, arriving Monday, November 4th. And let's take a look at what is on Cygnus. A total of over four tons, over 8,200 pounds, will be launching to the space station this morning. That's over 1,700 pounds of crew supplies, over 4,242 pounds of utilization equipment, which is uh, science experiments and other hardware, 203 pounds of spacewalk equipment, another 1,561 pounds of vehicle and system equipment, and 31 pounds of computer resources. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Power nominal. TBC performance nominal. Engine performance nominal. Estimated alpha, one degree. BNO3 is open. Engines remain at 100% and steady, beginning of load relief. Power is nominal. Estimated alpha one degree. Engines remain at 100% and steady. Power is nominal. Load relief, phasing out. The NG3 is open. Roughly 100 cent seconds to Miko. Everything proceeding smoothly, about 100 seconds till main engine cutoff. Uh, just passing 100,000 feet. 100 feet per second squared. High altitude pitch up at five degrees. Enabling velocity steering, engines remain stable. One minute to Miko. Engines remain at 100%. Attitude is nominal. BNO4 and BNO5 activated. Power nominal. Just passing 200,000 feet. Slow throttle down to 80% initiated. Main engine cutoff coming up in about 15 seconds. Engines 55%. Engines remain nominal. Main engine cutoff, nominal. PSS disabled. Stage one separation. ACS enabled. Attitude nominal. 
you can see in this graphic, sickness is separated from the stage one, and in the next few seconds, we'll be looking for the fairing separation. That's the shroud that covers and protects Cygnus during its launch. Stage one ignition time projected at T plus 245. Fairing separation. Interstage separation. Stage two ignition. Stage two is that solid rocket fuel that will burn for about two minutes and 43 seconds. Attitude nominal. Everything proceeding smoothly for Cygnus. Is nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Reaching 135 kilometers. Attitude nominal. Stage two TVC is nominal. Power subsystems remain nominal. Altitude uh, has just reached 150 uh, kilometers. Stage two, continuing to propel Cygnus now at 1,100 miles per hour. System. Power and TVC systems remain nominal. Attitude nominal. We are nearing one minute to stage two burnout. TVC is nominal. Attitude nominal. Altitude 180 kilometers. Power subsystem nominal. Stage two burnout coming up in about 30 seconds. Cygnus velocity currently over 15,000 miles per hour. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude reaching uh, 190 kilometers. Stage two burnout. FTS disabled. Attitude nominal. Stage two burnout confirmed. Cygnus moving at over 16,833 miles per hour. Active. The next milestone will be Cygnus separation at about 8 minutes and 49 seconds after launch. Power is nominal. And Terry's will coast for roughly another minute prior to payload separation. Systems continue to perform nominal. Altitude, 190 kilometers. Apogee and perigee within one sigma. Roughly 30 seconds to space craft separation. Power is nominal.